Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Terry and I focus on fragrances. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And today guys, I have a very fun video. Yes, your girl was tagged. Yes, I was. <laughs> Um, I recently was watching the beautiful and sweet Moon Perfumes here on YouTube. If you are not following her, you definitely need to check her out. She has some of the best perfumes. She has the sweetest and kindest demeanor, and she's so friendly, guys. And I really, really enjoy her channel. And I was actually watching her, uh, I believe it was Friday night. I was watching her. She created a tag. It's called five for five for life and it's basically a tag where you have to pick your five favorite niche and your five favorite designer scents that you would rock for the rest of your life if you had to right so i was watching her video and when i was watching i was like oh my god i would be so stressed out like if i had to just pick five like i was sitting here like how could she even do that and as i got to the end of the video i realized she tagged me <laughs> And as honored as I am to be doing this tag, so thank you so much for taking me, Moon Perfumes. I was stressed. I was like, okay, Terry, if you had to pick five and five, which ones would you pick? Now, when it came to my designer side, I was pretty solid on that because I knew four of the five that I was going to pick off top. Um, but when it came to that niche, I was like, I knew two or three of them. No, I knew three. Three without a doubt. But the other two just really had me going back and forth. So when you have a very large collection, it can get really stressful, okay? So let me just tell you, it got pretty stressful. All right, but anyway, so that's what the tag is. And if you are interested in seeing which five designer and which five niche I pick for my lifetime span, if I had to, oh my God, that sounds so stressful, then definitely keep on watching. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first one, I'm going to start with the designer perfumes and then I'll move to the niche. But the first five designer scents that I decided to, well, the only five designer scents that I chose, starting with the first one, it is actually called Hermes Twilly. And this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who has been following me since day one. This scent is everything to me, okay? So this scent. It's basically a ginger and tuberose scent for me. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is fresh, guys. It's woody, it's spicy. It's, it's just everything. Like in the, the summer, I wear it sparingly, but in the fall, this is everything for me. I feel this bright, fresh, spicy scent and it just kind of dries down to a beautiful cologne type scent. I don't know, I just feel so powerful and just Mm, this is gorgeous like this is so gorgeous i've been team twilly forever in a day and i love it this is my second bottle and i have another little small bottle i love this scent oh my god again this is twilly from hermes when i say spicy and just an oriental floral type spicy scent with that ginger kick and then the tuberoses those sweet flowers it's it's gorgeous, guys. This one is gorgeous. Again, let me move on. This is Twilly by Hermes. Hey, guys. And the second scent that I wanted to definitely keep in my collection and would I never want this out of my collection, guys. You already should know is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. All right. This one here is just a sweet lavender and vanilla scent to me. There is... Hmm. There are other notes, but this is like a sweet vanilla oriental. It's kind of aromatic. It is my summer scent. Like, I don't know. I wear it in the summer and the fall. Like, that's, that's when I just rock this really hard. In the summer, I just remember summers when I would get dressed before COVID. I would get dressed and I would put this scent on. And I went out to several dinner, dinners. I said dinners. I don't know what I was saying. But I went out to dinner several times with my husband and family. And this was my go-to. This is my second bottle. And I have a third bottle waiting on me because, and I'm almost about finished. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why I haven't finished it because I really haven't been going many places. And I have a large collection, guys, even though I'm downsizing. So, yay. But this one is always going to be a staple in my collection. It brings back great memories for me. It makes me think about just being out when we were carefree, having fun, dressed up. And this will be 
I would engulf myself with this. When I say heavy sprayer and it lasted me all night, I got so many compliments and my husband loves the scent on me. I would never get rid of my girl on. So again, if you like lavender, a soothing lavender scent with that rich, sweet vanilla, this is a go-to. Again, this is my girl on by girl on. Guys, so my next scent is, whew, let me go with this one. This one is one I love as well. This is Prada La Femme by Prada. Guys, this is frangipani flower. There's some spices. There's beeswax. There's tuberose, which I love. I love yellow flowers. I love white flowers. This scent smells so good to me. Okay, so with this scent, it's sweet and it's spicy. But at the same time, there's some... The white florals that's in this fragrance is sweet. So the sweetness come, is coming from the flowers. And then as it dries down, oh my God. As it dries down, it kind of gets this clean, soapy smell, but it's still sweet. This is, oh my God, this is like a signature scent too. Like I have, the ones that I pick, like for the most part, are ones that I would have as signature scents. This is one that I can see you wearing every day. Every holiday, uh, weekends, you can wear this um, every season. It's just an all-around good scent for me, and I absolutely love it. And again, this is Prada La Femme by Prada. Gotta have it. Okay, guys, and if you watch my Black is Beautiful collection, then you already know how I feel about this scent. This is my Trezor La Noite. All right, by Lancome, and this scent here, oh my goodness, it has started leaking. I don't know if I dropped it or what, but it has like, a, it's leaking, so my, my stuff is starting to evaporate. I actually have this one and the Olive Foley version and the Nude, and I have the Luminous version. But guys, this is my favorite, okay, and this is the original tri um, La Noite. Y'all, this is just a gourmand. It's, it's called a gourmand aphrodisiac, okay? But this scent is so sexy. It's so delicious and warm and sweet and vanilla. Just, it's beautiful, guys. So it has, it has roses as well. There's some um, incense. There's patchouli, lychee, and that praline. I think I'm getting that vanilla and praline. It smells so good. This is sexy date night. This is get your whole life. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I want to go out. <laughs> I want my husband to take me out on the town and I want to dress up and I want to put this on and I just want to like woo him because he loves this scent on me. It's so sexy. It's provocative. It's mysterious. It's just all of that wrapped up. Like I love this scent. <sighs> okay, and again, this is A La Noite by Trezor Lancome. That's one. The last designer that I chose for life is kind of new to my collection, but... I've been rocking it for a while, and then I actually got a bottle not too long ago, maybe a couple of months ago. That scent that I'm referring to, even though this is luxury and it's high dollar, in, but it's still considered designer, this is Tom Ford Rose Creek. Okay, guys, this one here was in my um, pink bottle. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, this is my wild card, okay? Like, those are my everyday, like, I could, you know, I have my day night, I have my everyday, I have my, you know, what makes me feel pretty and sexy, but this is my wild card for me because this one is spicy, guys. There is some um, Cheswan pepper. There's, oh, there's rose, of course. There's three types of rose. You have your Turkish rose, you have Bulgarian rose, then you have May rose. And then there is patchouli galore, guys. And then in the end, you're going to get tonka bean. Guys, this is delicious, okay? So it starts out really spicy, really just like, I got to smell it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to spray this one. Okay, so it starts out really spicy, but it's so sexy, okay? And it dries down. As it starts to dry down, you know, you get that patchouli. It's very, very dirty, earthy patchouli. You gotta love patchouli. I'm gonna tell you, I say this all the time, but this is just for people who love to blind buy. You gotta love patchouli. And this scent is everything. It dries down to this really creamy, creamy rose to me. 
and that tonka bean oh my god it's just this is the kick that you need in your life like if you love roses if you don't mind patchouli if you don't mind being like i said the wild card and just getting attention this is beautiful guys so definitely try tom ford rose pretty okay i need to move on my five designer i'm gonna try to move really quickly now okay so now we're going to get to my five niche okay this is where it was tough for me but i'm gonna go through this really quickly okay so everybody who knows me knows that essential go to is like my favorite niche scent to this day it was my very first one i have great memories tied to this scent there's some ambroxan there's vetiver there's some oris musk oh my god musk on elderberry extract this is gorgeous okay this is power this is money. This is success. This Okay, and all molecule scents don't work the same. So what I'm getting, you may not get. This is Some people call these scents like peekaboo scents. Like some people can smell them all day. Some people become anosmic to them. I'm one of the people that I can smell it pretty much all day. Every now and then it kind of goes away. And then people will stop me like, oh my God, what are you wearing? Because this one here gets so many compliments. So many people stop me because of this scent. It's, it's simply intoxicating. If it works with your body chemistry, it's intoxicating, guys. I'm telling you. But everybody doesn't feel the same way, of course. But this will forever be in my collection. As long as they're making it, I will be buying it, okay? And again, this is Eccentric O2 from Eccentric Molecule. So, another one that I absolutely love. Oh, my God. Guys, this is my absolute favorite cupcake in the world, all right? This is Love is in the Air. Guys. Whew. Okay, so I remember when I first smelled this, I liked it. I liked it. You know, it was just a like. Um, probably was my favorite one, but definitely just a like. I can't explain it. I smelled it and I was like, oh, my God, that's really pretty and fruity. And then, like, as the time was wearing, I was like, oh, my God, this scent has a lot of depth to it. This is not just a little fruity, teeny bopper scent. So, there's um, some citruses in this. There's a lot of plum, and I get the plum, the rose, and the white musk. And there's also jasmine. Guys, this smells so good. Okay, this will last you all day. And the scents that I'm picking, they last on me all day. I love them. For the fact that they last on me all day okay that's another thing i did i picked ones that i know would last and give me that wow factor like some sense may be basic to you like she chose that but it's a wow factor for me because it has great memories tied this one here is a wow factor it's heavy it's deep plum and rose and then there's that jasmine and that white musk it's so beautiful guys Oh my god and it wears so good on me so i love this scent again this is the house of siage and this is love is in the air the bottle is absolutely stunning so i definitely want to keep this for life moving on um this is one that you all have heard me talk about like a few times on my channel if you've been watching me and this is none other than the famous when i say famous like everybody talks about this scent it is called ani by nashane Y'all, <laughs> I, when I first got this and, and I wore this, I was like, okay, this is like my number one scent for life. That's what I was feeling. But then I was like, oh, I sprayed it. <sighs> Y'all, it gives me feelings. It gives me feelings. Y'all, this is bergamot. There's green notes, ginger, pink pepper, because it's spicy as all get out. Then you have black currant, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. I don't pick up the sandalwood which I've just recently figured out that I am not the biggest fan of sandalwood when it is like like the main ingredient. But this scent is made perfectly, okay? This is a spicy vanilla. So if you like a gingered spicy vanilla, this is the one to have. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. And I just figured out, like, I know it's unisex, but I when I wear it, I mostly get really creamy, spicy vanilla okay but mostly vanilla but i let my daughter wear it one day and it kind of leaned more masculine on her like it smelled this like you could smell that it was honey but hers had a more masculine vibe where, where mine was a little bit more feminine so i guess this wears on you according to body chemistry so because me and my daughter it wore completely different on us but this is perfect this is the perfect vanilla completely different from all the other vanillas that i own so unique i'm absolutely in love with this scent so yes definitely gonna put this on my list for life again this is 
Miss Shanae's honey. Guys, let me put that up. And so another one that I'm absolutely loving. Y'all, this is new in my collection. I, yeah, if I don't, I don't think I mentioned it, but I told you guys it was another scent that was running a tight race with honey for me. And I don't know why this, this scent did this for me, but this is Byron Parfums and this is The Chronic, okay? Guys, an oriental floral. It's, a be Ooh, it's beautiful. So on the top, you're getting pepper, you're getting cinnamon. And cinnamon is a note that I am absolutely in love with these days. Mm, it's spicy and then you have amber you have leather and patchouli and in the base sandalwood again with white musk okay so this is just a sweet and spicy type gourmand ah, y'all i have been wearing this to death okay and not this one i had a sample sent to me by a beautiful youtuber here jennifer latifa that's how i was introduced to ani and this one to be exact and i have since bought a few off of that swap we did this one was like an automatic love. My husband fell head over heels when I was wearing this. Like between that and honey, he was just like, that smells good, baby. So I wore this and the honey. I was wearing them every day, every day. Like I didn't know which one I wanted. I couldn't pick and choose. Like, so I was wearing them basically every day until I got them in my collection. And I'm like that. When I get them, I kind of chill out. <laughs> but this is one I debated on. As far as, should I put this in my collection since it's so new? But then I was like, yeah, you should put it in your collection because you love it and you like to wear it. And it's like the perfect scent. So definitely the Chronic by Byron, um, Byron Parfums had to be in my collection. This is a beast, y'all. It lasts all day on me. And it's so sweet and subtle and spicy. It's just, just the right amount of everything. This is perfect for me. And the last one, I think... <laughs> This was hard. Okay, so I said, let me put in my Back of Rock Rouge 540. Then I was like, ah, I had that in my list. And then I was like, no, I'm going to put in Andromeda. And then I said, no. And I picked up the Andromeda and I was like, mm -hmm, I want to do the Andromeda. I just I just have to leave Back of Rock Rouge behind. And as I was getting ready to put this on my list, I'm sorry, I had to put that down. I didn't pick it. <laughs> I had to be honest and true to myself. Y'all, I had to get my Intense Cafe. I had to, okay? So this one, as I was looking at my collection, I was like, mm -mm, I gotta have this one. So I recently bought Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. And I said that I liked it better than this one. And I lied. I lied. I do. I think it's more refined. I think it's gorgeous. A lot of people say this is a lot more harsh. And a lot of people say that. And I do agree. But it's something with this one. Like, they are basically the same. But it's something with this one. I was like, well, how did you betray your love? This is my love, guys. I can't even lie. This is my love. And this is rose and coffee and musk and some vanilla, I believe. But, oh, my God. It smells so freaking delicious. This is so gourmandish and it smells like sweet coffee with, of course, rose, the floral. And it's sweet and it's intoxicating. And every time I wear it, I just want to like sniff and lick on myself. Like seriously, it's that good to me. This is my going out scent in the um, fall. When I go out, I always want to wear this one. I always gravitate towards this one. So I don't know why I was trying to be disloyal to you, baby. I am so sorry. But Intense Cafe is one that I definitely cannot see myself without. And I had to be honest. And it's everything to me, guys. This is everything. This is a cold weather appropriate. Get your life. You're going to smell good. You're going to walk by. You'll see how the projection. Everything is going to be perfect. And people are going to want to know, what are you wearing? You smell so divine. You smell so sexy. You smell so badass and edgy. It's just beautiful, guys. So I absolutely love it. And I definitely had to put it on my top five niche for life. And again, this is Montel Intense Cafe. Guys, that's it for me. I want to thank you so much again, Moon Perfumes, for tagging me. I hope I did okay. Uh, she thought my collection was stunning. And I'm like, really? I have a lot of stuff. But I'm, when it comes down to my favorite favorites, I'm kind of basic. <laughs> I love different. I love unique. I love that I'm always on the search for that type of vibe. But 
if I had to rock something for the rest of my life, it's something that I want to always enjoy. I know those are scents that I always enjoy on my skin. It's never like the right mood. You know how some scents are nice scents, but they're only, you know, when it's the right mood or I can only tolerate that doing this. No, these are scents that I can spray on at any given time and I'm going to enjoy them. Even if it's hot in their cold weather scents, you know, I still enjoy them. Like I literally would still enjoy them. So that's why I chose those. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. Um, guys, if you are watching my videos and you hadn't hit that subscribe button, definitely hit the subscribe button now. Um, leave me some comment, guys. Let me know what scents would be your five designer and which scents would be your five niche or however, you know, you want to pick. Give me some comments below. Let's get to talking there. And I hope to see you guys soon. Definitely hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss any uploads from me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe. Y'all take care and keep smelling wonderful guys and girls. I know you're going to do it. Okay. I know you're going to do it. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.